Guys, the Louis de Guna YouTube's and Golo Kante. I'm not going to keep you long. It's a quick one. Corel Eating. I hope I've said his name correctly. You guys have heard me in a QA and a mention three Ajax midfielders. They've got quite a lot of young players. Eating, De Jong, Van, Van Dijk. I can't say these guys' names. Forgive me. But either way, they've got a lot of bad boy midfielders, yeah? And they've got a lot... Whether they've, they're bringing them through their own academy or they're recruiting from other Holland clubs that are smaller than them or whatever, they got some madmen. I really like Ajax. Carl Eating, like I was trying to um, allude to before I started waffling, 19 turning 20, he hasn't made that many appearances for the first team, I think he's made one appearance this season, he's very much on the frings on a regular basis, floats between the second division team, the B team reserves and being on the bench for the first team, so he's very much on the cross but he's not quite there yet, but I've got a lot of time for him, he's an under 20 player, I've actually watched him versus England um, a bit, a bit. So yeah, he's technically very, very sound. Very sound. You see, you see me say that with a lot of these Ajax midfielders, technically very sound. His tackling can improve and has to improve if he's going to be a midfielder um, for Ajax or at a bigger team. Centre, middle, DM, it really doesn't matter. He plays with grace. He's got an eye for a pass. He's, he, I like the way he creates space as well, considering he's a de defensive mid. I know we see a lot of defensive mids, they just focus on their job of breaking up play. But he offers an outlet continuously. Like... When, I, when, I've, when I've seen him, I haven't seen much of him, of course, because there's only so much you can see, but he looks like a very decent player. When I've watched highlights against Go Ahead Eagles and, and, F, and FC Eindhoven, he looking certy. He's, he's on the cross, but he's not there yet, but he looks like a player, man. He's on the cross, like I said. Like he, I got a lot of time for him. I really got a lot of time for him. I like the way he. I like his his long range of his long range passing as well. I don't think he does it enough, but I like I like that as well. You see a lot of midfielders. They do things in three touches or four or five touches when you can do things in two. Get out your foot, bring it over the top or something. Get out your foot, play it in behind. Get out your foot, distribute. He does. He he does that. He does that on a quick thing. He's not like these midfielders, some at Arsenal. I'm not going to dig anyone else out because I'm pretty sure you can guess. They might control it. Take another touch. Take another touch. Take another touch. Take another touch. What does that do? You might. It might still be a great pass, and that's not necessarily wrong. It's just the best players do the right things 24-7, whether they want to or not, especially in goal-scoring opportunities. And the best players do things quicker. If you do things quicker, you're more likely to keep the defence out of position. Imagine if I'm a midfielder and I'm holding on to the ball and I'm holding on and you can see me looking for a pass. Naturally, what's the centre-half going to do or full-backs? The full-backs are going to tuck in and remain rigid. The centre-halves are going to drop deep, aren't they? Because they know a ball's coming over the top. OK, I might not make it. Let me give myself a couple yards and then my guy might make it if I don't. You get it? Where if they don't know that's going to happen, someone's going to get caught out and then it becomes a foot race. And if, if these centre-halves are good and their recovery is good, fair play to them. But nine times out of ten, your team's going to score. And that's what he brings to the table and he does need to improve and I'm not going to hear gas him like these other people and say he's a mad wonder kid and all of this. He could very much be this, but he's 19 and I'm a man that believes in documenting, not predicting and all these things. But yeah, guys, deluded. I'm signing out. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out.